guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to watch Ozark season 4 episode 12. So in the previous episode, I remember that, you know, Marty lost control. He let it out to that guy on the road. He hit him. He beat him. Even, I don't know, I think Wendy looked scared or concerned about it. And yes, Rachel is back to Ozark. She's gonna be partner with Root. Alright, before I start to watch this episode, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So, here we go. That's my favorite song right down the line. This is my song. Switch <laughs> the parents and the children. If we keep Camilla close, if we keep her engaged, it, it makes it harder for her to make another move. I don't know. How am I supposed to funnel shipments of the FBI right from under her nose? You did it with Hobby. Yes, I did. Barely. It is not sustainable. We tell Navarro what she did, she goes away. Uh, when the time is right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look, why don't you go, go clean up that hand, take a shower. I, I don't know what that was. I'm pretty sure what it was. No. I know I'm not easy to love. You realize it? It's all because of you? If you wanted to leave, I'd understand. Mm. Is that what you want? No. But I would understand if you did. I don't know what, what I can see that Marty care for Wendy, but I don't know about Wendy though. Well, I hate to tell you this, but I don't think we're ever gonna find your son. Oh shit, dude, dude, stop it. What do you mean? The day your daughter left Ben at the diner in Barlow, this man showed up. He's a trigger man for a Mexican drug cartel. I don't understand. You sure are going to tell him? He was there for Ben. I would then be mixed up with a Mexican drug cartel. Your daughter and her husband, they were investigated by the FBI for money laundering. Of course. It was her. Well, I mean, no charges were ever brought. Dear God. If you like, I can, I can bring this information over to the local authorities. Exactly how bad is your record? Uh, three felonies, four misdemeanors. Predominantly juvenile? You know, that's doable. Hmm. What? Expunging your record? I think I know a judge who might be amenable. Oof. Okay. Well, what's that gonna cost? No, no, it won't work like that. I can get you the meeting, I'll put in a persuasive word. You saying she's got a shot at getting clean? With uh, the right attitude, a little bit of luck. You have to do it. Yes. Look, this is life changing. A clean record? People like us don't get that ever. Yes, Rude, come on. You gotta try. The judge is gonna take one look at me and know exactly what I am. Ruth, you own half the land in the county. You operate an almost successful motel. You are a goddamn redneck success story. At least try. I really like Rachel. It's the first good to see her back. Five generations. What the fuck? <laughs> Let's do it. All right, good. I'll set up the meeting. But here's the thing. Okay, it's, it's important. Mm -hmm. When you meet Judge Mayhew, it's yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. You got it. Okay. You fucking got it, Charlie. <laughs> okay. We're gonna be pulling up stakes here in a few days, and I'd like you to come back with us Ooh. and move in with me. Mm. Don't don't both of you go answering all at once. Why are you leaving? To be honest, we're giving up the search for your uncle. I don't think we're ever going to find you. Because that's he surprising. Knows the truth. And I'm not going to lie to you. I think you might be in danger here. 
And I think you might take it too. Big decision. Take some time with it. Well, I think Jonah would love to live with him, but I don't know what Carol had. Just because Charles and I are friends doesn't mean I'm gonna rubber stamp this. Now, I understand. Yes, ma'am. Oh, ma'am. That kind of history, sometimes it's hard to change. Have you changed? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. If I clean your record, we're tied. Forever. You mess up again, it comes back on me. Now, I don't plan to fuck up. Um, <clears throat> mess up. <laughs> oh ma'am. Hey, judge. This is everything to me. Good. Here's what I'm gonna do. I may even find something that the authorities missed. Are you prepared for that? Uh-huh. You sure? Yes, ma'am. And provided that doesn't turn up any surprises, I'll likely do a drop-in visit. Right, uh, okay. Is that gonna be a problem for you, Ruth? N no, no, not at all, ma'am. What's that? A petition for Jonah and Charlotte to come live with me. Oh, shit. Come on, I think you want to read it. I think you want to sign it. Oh, it's never going to happen. They want to come, Wendy. They are not safe with you. I'm not signing anything. Then I'll see you at Camden County Family Court in three days for a hearing. You don't want to do that. Neither do you. I got my investigator ready to testify, and you know very well what he's got on you. Sign it. They want to be with me. Get the fuck out of my house! Holy crap. He's, he's playing a, a game of chicken, you know? He, he knows we can't let Mel testify. That's exactly right. We just need to make sure that Mel never makes it to court. Oh my god, Wendy. I used to guess to kill him. We arrested somebody for Wyatt's murder. Oh. Who? Uh, Timothy Wheeling. Comes out of Hastain. Worked in the fields off and on for Darlene, you know him? What? Well, how do, you, how do you know it was him? Why are you being so nice to me all of a sudden? Coming all this way? I'm sorry we got off on the wrong foot. Me and this new job. You sorry? Or did you hear I inherited Watt's money? <laughs> what? I hope this brings you some peace. Your boys in Wisconsin and Michigan could really help us out there, get them in place before the next cycle. We can't do that. We won't. I'm not your dancing monkey, Wendy. Either one or the other. I'm Navarro off the SDN list, or Mel Saddam rejoins Chicago PD. You go ahead and you let me know what you decide. So, if we use Schaefer to help Mel get his job back, then we have to find someone else to get Navarro off the SDN list. Yeah, it won't be easy. Yeah, but it's possible, right? Yeah, well, you're gonna need four, maybe five new faces to pull Schaefer's weight. Plus, you're gonna have to fill his board seat. Ideally, someone well-placed to run damage control in case he, I don't know, takes us personally. I can put together a few names, I'll make a list, but it's gonna take some time for them all to get on board. So How's Mr. Navarro's patience these days? I'm wondering, may maybe, a donation to the police union might go a very long way in showing just how much confidence we have. She is Wendy. Be much appreciated. How soon do you want to get this done? Really quick. Today. <laughs> today. <laughs> Not today, huh? Uh, no, nothing. I'm sorry. It's something that I've always wanted to do since I was a kid is across Lake Michigan to Wisconsin on a boat. The coast. That sounds nice. Problem is, I don't got a boat. <laughs> he wants boat. He wants boat. What do you know about the guy? Not much. Worked a few odd jobs for Darlene. Didn't kill her. True. Is this the judge? I see you're seizing the day. Oh. I was going over receipts at the motel until 2 a.m. I looked over your record. 
Seems like you were with your father or some other family member every time you got arrested. Led you astray, huh? No. No, I, I did that all by myself. They're all dead now. I saw. I don't, uh... Mood. I don't blame you for doubting me, ma'am. I get it. I do. But I promise you, you clean me up and I will do whatever it takes to stay that way. Oh, I'm, I'm afraid... Well, they would need you in Chicago immediately. Right. Right. Well, the Chico, fat bastard, would you uh, promise him? A boat. <laughs> Car, boat. <laughs> the only thing you're going to do here is you're going you're gonna to break up my family. Or what? What about it, Mel? What are you gonna do? Scale of one to ten, ten being pure evil, uh, nine, nine point five. Nine point five. <laughs> you should give it ten at least. It's close. We're talking about getting my old life back. He looks so happy. Keep some for yourself. Not sure how he feel about us giving him up like a bag of sugar. I ain't got a criminal record no more. Really? <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Ruth. Email came in for board corrections ten minutes ago. I didn't realize that you would be here, Camilla. Oh, no. Oh, my, I thought it was important. Is there an issue? Oh, no. Where do we stand on the SDN list? It's in motion. That's not what I hear, Wendy. I asked my lawyer to look into the status quietly. He said no petition has been filed. We're still back channeling. And I'm still in this picture prison. See, Wendy? This is really a bad idea. Clean. We need to spread more money around in Mexico. We also need clean money for the officials that we'd allow my brother to make a quick exit from whatever prison he's been transferred to. Yeah, we can cover that with the current amounts. We also have a chance to expand with the pharmaceutical deal. We're gonna need more product and that means more land. I also need money to spread across the lieutenants. I need them calm and happy. Yeah. Oh, um, shit. I'll wander more. But by the way, can you get me off this list? Realistically, in a few months. No, not months. Not weeks. Oh my god. Days. Yeah. You know, you know, she is spreading that money around to buy loyalty with the lieutenants. Yeah, I know. Do you? Yeah, because, you know, we need to get him off the list right now so that we can tell him what's going on and he can take care of her. Fuck! It's all because of Wendy's fault. That's it. We can give you what you need in Michigan and Wisconsin. Hmm. If you succeed, God will still know. There's no escape. So Mel's going back to Chicago? No, he's weighing his humanity. Marty, are you still there? Yep. Oh, gosh. You had a choice. call him again, Mr. Davis. I'm giving him exactly 10 minutes to show. My docket is full. Oh my god, I feel bad for him though. I don't believe my grandchildren are safe in that house. Mr. Davis. Wendy, why are you smiling like a freaking pillion? No, Your Honor. And I am fully aware of the unstable home life these children have had to endure. The Joan of Art has been living in a motel. 
and that both his parents were recently arrested. Oh, but, Your shit. Honor, there were no charges filed. Considering that Charlotte is months away from her 18th birthday, it is the opinion of this court that she should be free to make a decision about her own welfare. Joan is only 15. It is the further opinion of this court that if Jonah can live in a motel, there can be no reasonable argument as to why he cannot move to North Carolina in the custody of a family member. Oh. Jonah, Charlotte, you're old enough to decide for yourselves. Next. Oh, oh, oh my God. So, what's gonna happen? Take all the time you need. We're going with Grandpa. Come on. You're not, you're not serious. Both of you? I'm sorry. What, really? What did he say to you? Nothing. No, he must have said something to you because you said you didn't want to go. I never said that. Yes, you did. You said to you me. You just heard what you wanted. Well, why don't we just talk about this at home, okay? Dad. We'll sleep on it. We'll talk about it in the morning. What is there to talk about? Everything. Uh, all you do is talk. Nothing changes. If there was something to say, do you think she would actually hear us? Charlotte. You don't understand what you're getting into, okay? Your grandfather is not a good man. You only think that because mom told you to. That's not true. You just, you just do everything she says. No, I do not. Dad, you said so yourself. What? She only does what she wants. Ah. Uh. The whole thing's rigged. Okay, that had nothing to do with your grandfather. What are you doing? Wendy, what are you doing? Daddy. Daddy, please. Don't. Don't take them. Take them away from me. I will do whatever you want. I, I, I will do anything. Just tell me. Just tell me. Tell me what it is. What can I give you? What? Did, just, just tell me. I am. I am so sorry. I am sorry. I'm sorry that I'm so hard to love. I don't. I don't mean to be. I'm sorry. I embarrassed you. I'm sorry that I left home. I'm sorry. I am not doing this to hurt you. I am just trying to keep my grandchildren safe. Just don't take them away from me, please. I will be, I will be so glad to bring them. Tell me what to do, please! I want you to get up and stop making a fool of yourself, Wendy Marie. Nobody's falling for this anymore. When I am done, they ought to know exactly what you are, and they are never coming back to you. Jeez, what the fuck? Wendy? to Wendy I mean like okay now we know see there's something about her what is going on with Wendy is she has like mental illness or something since that I, I don't know okay I don't know I'm just like the way that I see Wendy right now I mean particularly this season like I saw her as a villain like she is she, she is going to be so bad like she become the worst, worst, and worst, you know? And I'm so glad that Caroline and Jonah is with their grandfather. Like, I think I, I'm, I'm actually agree that they are safe with him rather than with Marty and Wendy, especially because um, Omar asking more money laundering. Many, you know, it, 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 it cannot stop. As we know that we still have like two episodes left, everything is going bad, especially with Camila thing. That Wendy put Camila to the business, even though um, Marty is not a proof. But you know, Wendy, n now you can't see it. Your idea is really bad and make everything hard for it. And Marty, Marty, I know Marty is still love Wendy, no matter what, you know. He still care for her but I don't know about Wendy though like when I see that she's begging to her father to give it her kids that that I see that she's not really mean it that's why her father is just don't buy it and then she hit her head and it's bleeding 
which is I really care for that like I don't know what's gonna happen to her in the next episode because this is really bad but at least Jonah and Carolette is safe right now they are with their grandfather and I just really love how Ruth's dealing with this all her criminal records is clean see actually now rich but I just really curious about the thing with Navarro and now with Camila and the way that Omar asking for more money laundering like damn it's not even finished huh the way that Wendy said that they are near to finish everything I mean I don't think so the way that Camila have a lot thing to Marty and Wendy do it's just I don't think they're gonna make it so yeah uh, at least the kids safe right now and I don't know what's gonna happen to Wendy and Marty since that they have a lot to do with Omar that you know he wants to out from the list of SDM I really really see Wendy in this episode it's just you know she is a freaking monster like I don't know what's gonna I don't know what is happening to Wendy she has a, like a freaking mental illness or something because she's manipulated like I know that she's not really meant for that that begging for her kids because you know her her father not buying that I mean she capable to killing her own brother and I remember um, there was a time when she really doesn't care about Jonah her own son so well Wendy I just just I don't like you you know I don't exactly remember how Wendy in season one and season two or even season three but yeah see she, she, she's getting worse and worse every time through all the episodes right and Marty Marty I know you, you really care for her like you love her even though remember season one when you found out that your that Wendy is cheating on you there was a record I, I do remember that he saw that um, when he see having a sex with that guy who's now dead you just you just silence because you you really really love Wendy but even though Wendy is already a monster from season one right because she's, she's, she's cheating on you so I hope, I hope, Marty, you stand for yourself, okay? Because you always do anything what Wendy said. Because I'm, I don't, I don't care about Wendy anymore. She's just a monster to me. Same. But beside of that, you know, the actress who play Wendy, you are really good. The acting, everything is really great all their acting is so good you know so yeah i love it all right so that was my reaction for this episode i hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to subscribe like this video share it and see ya